Hi, my name is Colin Goddard, 25 years old. Survived the Virginia Tech shooting in 2007. Uh, was one of the more fortunate ones. After hearing about the idea that, you know, as to deal with problems like this in the future, the students should bring guns to school as the way to solve this problem, I, you know, thought that this was totally the wrong way to go about it. And that there are so many other steps that should be taken first before we ultimately need to just, you know, let the good kids shoot it out with the bad kids. So when you hear about state initiatives here within Texas, and it's happening also in Kansas and Florida and other states as well, we try to come out here to offer a different opinion, to say, look, that this is not the first way forward. You know, there are many other things that you got to consider before you allow something like this, and it will totally change the dynamic of, of how universities are run, how police respond to active shooters. Lawmakers say gun-free zones attract criminals. If that's true, why is the violent crime rate on college campuses so much lower than off-campus, uh, where guns are allowed? If more guns meant less crime, the United States would be the safest place in the world. I understand the desire from the other people on the other side. When people feel insecure. When people are worried that this is going to happen to them at their school. But, you know, there are so many other things from providing a lock on a door in a classroom, for example, having an effective alert and messaging system to let students know what's going on on campus. I didn't know that there was a shooting two hours before at Virginia Tech before I went to class that day. You know, mental health policies that will actually follow up with students and get them the help they needed, as well as we need to address the easy access that people have to guns. I mean, there are sales allowed here in Texas to people without background checks or paperwork or any ID shown. And I think improving that and stopping those kind of sales will make it less likely for this to happen in the future. I was shot four times and I was fortunate to be one of the survivors from that morning. You know, I never got involved in any of these issues and I wouldn't be here today if I wouldn't have learned that students thought the way to deal with this situation is by putting more guns in a classroom. I was there that day. That was the craziest day of my life with one person walking around with two guns. I can't even imagine what it would have been like with multiple students and multiple guns. We're trying to do what we can to, like I said, offer a different opinion at a time when hopefully it's critical, hopefully it may sway some people. If Texas passes this bill, it will totally change the dynamic of how police respond to an active shooter. And when the police need every second they can to respond effectively, they're going to have to distinguish between a well-intentioned citizen or the intentional shooter. You know, when you frame it as, you know, someone's about to come in and shoot you in your class, do you want a gun or not? Yeah. People are going to say, yeah, of Everyone. course. Everyone's going to say, yeah. Absolutely. But when you take a, you know, the blinders off, you take a step back and you look at the, you know, the thing, you realize that there are points of intervention that are always you, you could have done beforehand. If all those things are done and there's still a problem with violence and shooting on campus, then perhaps we can look at this idea. But at this point, it's really, it's really not the best step forward.